Hey everybody, Jeremy here. So today I'm gonna to be reviewing this Marvel Legends She-Hulk. I got this directly from HasbroPost.com because it was the only place that I can find online that still had it available. This is not a part of any kind of Build-A-Figure wave. It is a standalone figure, which is A-OK -okay with me. If you wanna take a look at the back of the box, flipping it around, got some pretty cool artwork here of the Jennifer Walters She-Hulk along with a little biography in multiple languages. Okay, so kind of looking forward to this. When I saw some promotional images last week, I thought, hey, I should check this figure out. So here we go. Let's open it up. All right, so here we go. She-Hulk. So what do I think about this figure? Well, just straight up, right from the jump, let me tell you, I like this figure. I think that this is a really good figure. I think that you should add her to your collection. I think it's really, really well done. So with that being said, let's look at some of the finer qualities of She-Hulk here. Now, you gotta have that Hulk aesthetic. In this case, everything is ripped. The clothes are ripped and shredded. It's just the way that it has to be. It has that little somewhat of a savage aspect to it in almost all regards except for her hair, which is just immaculate. I mean, just turn, turn her hair around. Look at that. Not a strand of hair is out of place. So they made sure that this She-Hulk figure is a very nicely groomed figure. She's pretty. It's a very pretty Hulk figure, and there's nothing wrong with that. Some other aspects that I do kind of want to point out here is because, like, the pans are tattered, it kind of does an okay job of hiding some of the some of the joint work. So if you look back here right behind the knee, it sort of covers that joint a little bit. Of course, you still know that it's there, but the pans do a pretty decent job of, of trying to make it seem more seamless than, than it otherwise would have been. All right, so another thing that you would just totally notice about She-Hulk is that she is absolutely ripped to shreds. Really crazy ab definition right there. I mean, hey, I just, I have to point it out, okay? <laughs> She-Hulk, she's ripped, she's shredded. From the arms are shredded, the legs are shredded, the abs are shredded, it's just shredded, okay? You have to know these things. But I think that's a really still still a very nice figure. Um, one thing that I do like about the hair, I like that they added the black to the hair to add into the green. I think that that you know it helps the figure stand out a little bit more, especially since the rest of the skin is a very flat green without uh, without really much definition in that color. So I'm glad that they added that to the hair uh, just to you know break things up a little bit, make it look a little bit more interesting. And I know articulation is also going to be very important. So let's just go over that. Um, so there's nothing holding her back. No restrictions. So you can just kind of go a little bit nuts with it. All right. So first, let's start with these arms. These arms can lift up a really good amount. So here we go with our arms here. Um, and I know that I don't have them exactly even or parallel to each other. But, you know, you kind of have that old school y2j kind of a pose going on and while we kind of got her like this let me move her head down so that you can see this is how far down she can look which is pretty good but you can't move her head up all that much the hair is sort of blocking it from that angle but the downward motion is pretty good i think another thing that i like about this figure um, i'm just going to go back to the arms for a minute is for the upper torso, you can do a really good bend and it kind of snaps itself right back into the middle if you want it to be in the middle. So it seems to me it's easier to move her to the left, um, but there she is to the right and then it just sort of pops it right back in place right there in the middle and I do like that. And then you can also rotate left and rotate right. It feels very, uh, it, it feels good when you're moving the torso like that. It feels very absolute. It doesn't feel like loose or flimsy. I do like that. Good motion for the elbow, a really nice elbow bend there. That really helps to get some really cool poses. I mean, this, you can totally do, you know, a Superman punch pose with her, you know, if you want to, you know, get that leg up like that, bend it a little bit, you know, you can totally get the Superman punch pose if you wanted to. So good stuff with that, good range of motion in the elbows and stuff. Uh, let's take a look at the legs here. 
Like most figures, you can kick forward a lot better than you can uh, kick back without doing any other motion. Um, this is how much you can get over to the side. You got those double jointed knees, which is always great to have. Um, you got the uh, pivot of the ankle, and then you can also tilt that foot up and down. So she's got everything. She's got everything. You know, the splits, not quite, but, you know, it's, it's about as far as, you know, most figures go. Uh, so the articulation is there is totally on point. She is very sure footed. So I did all that and she's still standing up on her own really, really well. And that is awesome. So I feel like this figure checks all the boxes that you would typically want in an action figure as far as how action-y can you get it. The range of motion is really good. Now let's take a look at some of the accessories that she comes with, which really it's not a lot. I mean, you get these two interchangeable hands here. So these are just open hands. And then of course you got these fisted hands that she comes with. So you can mix and match it depending on what you want to do. But the best, the best accessory for her is definitely this alternate head. I really like this alternate head that she comes with. I love that expression. I love how the eyes have a little bit more color to it. If you look really closely at the eyes, you can see like there's a little bit like yellow in there. So it really helps those eyes to pop and the motion of the hair too. The motion of the hair, I really, really like. And she has a little bit of hair just kind of coming down right in front of the face. It's a, it's a little bit movable, so you can move it out the way, but I kind of like having it there, you know, because it just makes it look more natural, especially if there's a wind blowing or whatever. The hair is just gonna kind of do what it does. I mean, come on, I should know, right? I mean, <laughs> all right, anyway. Um, here's a look at the back. Really cool looking hair. I love that expression. I love the anger. It's a good figure. You know, all that to let you know, it's a good figure. And I'm hoping that it becomes easier to find. Um, like I said, I got this from HasbroPulse.com. I looked other places online to see if it was available and they're sold out in other places or they still have the pre-orders up. Um, if you want to go the route of like uh, Mercari or something like that, I have seen this figure on there. Some sellers are not asking a crazy amount for her. Usually maybe just a tiny little bit above retail and then shipping five or six bucks or whatever, you know. So if you just need to get your hands on this She-Hulk right now, and you can't get it from the regular stores, then you know you can probably look at Macari. You don't have to worry about you know doubling the money of of like scalpers and stuff because I, I seen that the prices were more or less pretty tame. But yeah, um, before I go, let's take a look at a size comparison with one of these other figures from Marvel Legends. I dug this Spider Gwen out of storage not too long ago. You can check out that video if you want. But here she is, compared to She Hulk. So you can get that size comparison going on. Now the Spider-Gwen figure is small. So, you know, naturally next to She-Hulk, she's gonna look like a little child, but that's how she looks next to Spider-Gwen. And um, let's just grab a male character just for a little bit more scale. So this is the uh, Sabretooth from the Age of Apocalypse X-Men wave. And yeah, check out that scale between him and She-Hulk. So you can see, even though he's taller, um, She's almost as tall as he is, so it's a pretty decent sized figure, you know, so she's definitely going to be larger than most, but that's the way that it should be. All right, I'm going to give her back the center stage, and that is it. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. I'm going to be back with some more toy reviews very, very soon, so I'll see you then. Till next time, I'm Jeremy. Take care. Talk to you later.